Yeah. We're slipping through the crowd They can hear that sound But you were on my frequency Sipping on your drink You look at me and down I sink Floating in your ecstasy What's up guys? Liam here and welcome back to LSGA TV. I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro there. Drop the video a like for Flick and Jesse. I'm sure they would much appreciate it, you know? Today we are back finally, finally in my home gym at Paradise. You guys have seen the renovations, um, but to be honest, you haven't seen a training session for three or four videos now. And the reason being, I haven't trained. My tooth, my jaw, my stone, whatever you want to call it, is kind of back to normal. So I'm going to start easing myself back into some nice good old training sessions. I've had a lot of time away, well over a week, more like 10 days, close to two weeks. Um, so we're going to kind of do a bit of everything, ease ourselves back into it, get our body moving, get the blood pumping, and that's about it really. But it's going to be a great session, it's going to be a great video. Let's get it started. I found myself on your wavelengths, dialing it in. I know that when the noise does clear, I'll be on your frequency. Alright everybody, so what we are going to be doing today is, like I said, a bit of everything. We're going to be starting off with the bench press, um, and to be honest, I did loads of stuff to warm up. I've done bent over rows, upright rows, shoulder press, really light chest flies, just getting the blood pumping, getting the muscles moving. There was a lot of cracks in the shoulders and stuff like that, so I'm taking my time, which is going to be key today. I have a feeling that I'm gonna struggle, because to be honest, I'm only benching the bar just now, and I can feel when it touches my chest, and the initial actual push up, feeling kind of tension, and just, I don't know, I don't know what the feeling is, it's a bit like a throbbing, um, where my tooth has been hurting. It's annoying how something so simple as a toothache can actually affect you in your training and stuff like that, um, but we're gonna push through, we're gonna do what we can, but we're gonna take our time. good but I've gone as high as 80 I've pyramided up and did a solid set of eight you know pause nice slow steady controlled reps at a good tempo and I'm happy with that because at the end of the day I'm going to be doing a lot of different exercises today rather than kind of homing down on one or two um, so I'm happy with that I'm content with that I can move on one thing you should always pay attention to when you come back to training if you have like a sustained period away is take your time because at the end of the day we are in this for the long run. We want to be doing not only YouTube for a long time, we want to be training for potentially our entire lives, right? So if we want to actually be able to do that, we don't want to injure ourselves. And so if I came back, slapped 90 on, slapped 100 kilos on, you know, more, I'd probably injure myself. And to be honest, I have to take a couple of sessions if I have a sustained period away, and I should recommend that you guys do this too. Ease yourself back into it. Don't just go into it thinking, oh, I could bench 100 kilos, I could bench 100, I could do free play. Like, that's great, like congrats but take your time with it, because at the end of the day, if you injure yourself, you're gonna lose all those gains. Moral of the story, take your time, because you have your entire life. Just wanted to take a second as well to thank you guys for your support. Um, to be honest, recently the channel's views have gone down and down. I ju it just goes through a slump every now and then, right? And that, at the minute, or it was going through that. But your guys' support, your guys' comments, your guys' interactions has actually brought that back up again. Especially your support and, you know, I loved hearing your thoughts on the home gym and everything. Um, that video did really well and so it's genuinely, 
made my day. Just wanted to take a second in this next video to thank you guys for that. What we are going to be doing now is we're going to move on to some isolations. We've done a couple of sets of lap pull down. Well, actually, I need to do a third set of lap pull down. And then we'll move on to some chest flies. We'll do some lateral raises. And then we'll give the new leg machine a go because it's not priority today because it's not leg day. But I can't resist having a little play. I lose you in the crowd. Your hand slips from mine now. You are looking back at me. You said, find me at the front. I'll be singing all these songs. And one day you'll be looking back at me. I get a lot of people ask me what kind of numbers I'm working with with bench press, what kind of numbers I'm working with with shoulder press. People don't really care about lap pull down and all that kind of stuff, but with bench press, as you guys know, I went nuts when I got my first 100 kg bench press. That was a long time ago, but I was also a lot heavier. And so right now I can still do it for two or three reps, but I am actually 16 pounds, probably even more than that, less weight wise than I was when I first hit. In terms of my one rep max, I've actually hit 112 on bench for one. My shoulder press, however, is a bit more impressive. I hit a 90 kilo, solid, stiff shoulder press. None of this push press rubbish. Like I stood still and pushed up 90 kilos above my head. That's big. And as you guys know, pull-ups are the bane of my life. I actually, a couple of videos ago, hit 12 pull-ups. Um, and I did that for two sets and then the third set I got 10. So they're on the rise. That's pretty damn good because as you guys know, I really struggle with it. I try to focus on it a lot because it's a big weakness of mine. Um, but they're on the rise. They're on the rise. Now I know what you guys are about to say. I mean, you've seen that clip. You, you've, you've seen the shirt. And I know what you're thinking. Sick shirt, Liam. Sick shirt. Where can I get one of those? Hmm. Radio all I hear is static then I find myself on your wavelengths Dialing it in I know that when the noise does clear I'll be on your frequency Everybody, that is an honest update of where we are at. Um, like I said, we haven't trained for a while, and so considering I wasn't really at a low body fat anyway, that's not too bad. I feel like I've lost a little bit of body fat, but also I don't know whether it's lack of glycogen in the muscles from lack of food, but I feel like I've lost a little bit of strength as well. And so I have lost three, three and a half pounds in the whole time that actually my tooth has been hurting and so whether that's you know good weight or bad weight is yet to be seen really i've got to get back into it but i think i think we're going to be okay i think we're going to be good positive mental attitude pma i personally believe that that goes a long way if i tell myself i'm going to be okay if i tell myself i'm going to get back into it then i know i'm going to be good today in particular i know that if i put the weights on if i put 90 kilos on which is what i have been doing for six to eight reps for three sets I know that if I did that, it wouldn't have been there. The strength wouldn't have been there. The endurance wouldn't have been there. I just wouldn't have got it. And so I didn't bother. I decided to actually take my time, put 80 kilos on and do pause reps. Take my time with it and just be okay with where I'm at, knowing that I'm gonna get back to there in you know the next week, maybe two weeks, who cares? Like I said earlier in the video, we are in this for the long run, we are in this for life. And so I have my entire life to hit those numbers. Put the ego to one side, stick the injuries in the corner because we're not gonna get any because we take our time. for today's workout and I think that'll do for today's video. A very, very good session, good hard solid session, managed to smash out a video and smash out a solid session, which the two, I mean people on YouTube complain all the time, you get all the big guys who complain about it taking away from YouTube. I don't know whether it's because 
I've always done it pretty much with it. Pretty much the entirety of my training I've done YouTube. And so it's kind of just what I'm used to, it's just what I do. And so I don't know really, I don't, I don't see it as an issue personally. I mean, I see it as part of it. It makes me have my form on point, it makes me consistent, it makes me do the reps. I can't cheat out on anything because at the end of the day, it's on camera. I'm going to be putting this on social media. And so social media will judge me if I don't do it right, if I don't do enough, if I'm not making progress. You know what I mean? And so it kind of keeps me on track. I see it as a good thing rather than it actually taking away from my training and taking away from what I actually do in the gym. I mean, this is perfect, it's ideal. You won't get this anywhere else unless you own the gym. You go to a commercial gym, you can't record anything. I can do what the friggin' hell I want in here. I can train naked, I mean, I don't, but I can train naked if I really friggin' wanted to, right? But the point I'm kinda trying to make is that I'm very thankful for the position that I'm in. I'm very appreciative of this position to have this available to me. I mean, I get comments all the time that I, that I would love to have a gym like that. You know, you're so lucky, this and this and this. And yeah, you're right. I am, I'm freaking lucky. So me creating these videos, creating this content is part of me having this place. It's kind of, it's what I do, it's what it's used for. But then I can make these psychological gains, I can make these physical gains, I can look better, feel better, all because of, of this. And you know, it's got even better only just. And to be honest, the more it improves, the more I improve in terms of talking to the camera, in terms of making videos, you know, the better it gets. It doesn't get worse. I don't know whether, it, I mean, it's not even like it's a novelty kind of thing. I've been doing YouTube for two and a half years now. And so the novelty would have worn off by now if it was a novelty. You know, this is what I love to do. This is what, you know, I'm good at. It sounds big headed and it sounds like being really arrogant and stuff, but. The message I'm trying to get across on the channel is if you, if you practice at something, if you want to get good at something and you want to achieve a goal, then just practice and practice and practice and you will get better. It's as simple as that. My old videos are trash, complete shit. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I, as a viewer and as a creator, would not want to watch those videos because they are terrible. There's no value there. There's no entertainment there. There's nothing and I hope and I, I like to think that, you know, I provide that a bit more now. I mean, they're not perfect, and I'm sure I'll look back in a year's time now and think, phew, the videos I made now are terrible, but they're great compared to what they used to be. Do you know what I mean? The whole process of actually training and filming when I train, it's not a detriment to me, and I don't understand why people complain about it, because there's so many people, especially when you can do it as a career, there's so many people that would kill, myself included, to be in that situation. Um, but I'm a long way away from that. I've got to work for that. You guys got to help me. I don't even know what I'm trying to say now. I'm just going on a rant, but just know that I love this place. I love what I do, and we're on the up, guys. We're going to get there. Together, we will grow. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you so much for your endless support. It really does mean the world. I'll see you guys in the next video.